So ChatGPT is everywhere as you know and recently there has been the integration of ChatGPT into many different applications and this update that we're now seeing is no different. You see ChatGPT is now going to be added to a Mercedes-Benz car and not just any car, pretty much all of the Mercedes-Benz fleet that do have one of Mercedes-Benz unique customer experiences. So around two weeks ago, Mercedes-Benz announced that they were going to bring ChatGPT to Mercedes-Benz user experience vehicles for US customers via Microsoft's Azure OpenAI service. So it states on the webpage, Mercedes-Benz is further expanding the use of artificial intelligence and integrating it into the voice control of its vehicles as the next step. By adding ChatGPT voice control via the M MBUX voice assistant Hey Mercedes will become even more intuitive. An optional beta program will start on June the 16th, 2023 in the United States for over 900,000 vehicles equipped with the MBUX infotainment system. Customers can participate via the Mercedes-Benz app or directly from the vehicle using the voice command, Hey Mercedes, I want to join the beta program. The rollout of the beta program will happen over the air. Mercedes-Benz is integrating ChatGPT Azure OpenAI service, leveraging the enterprise-grade capabilities of Microsoft's Cloud's AI platform. Additionally, Mercedes do go on to state that Mercedes-Benz MBUX voice assistant already has set industry standards and is known for its intuitive operation and large command portfolio. Drivers and passengers can receive a sport and weather updates have questions answers, have questions answered about their surroundings or even control their smart homes. ChatGPT complements the existing intuitive voice control via Hey Mercedes. While most voice assistants are limited to predefined tasks and responses, ChatGPT leverages a large language model to greatly improve natural language understanding and expand the topics which it can respond to. Mercedes-Benz combines the best of both worlds, enhancing the validated data of MBUX voice assistant with the more natural dialogue format of ChatGPT. Users will experience a voice assistant that not only accepts natural voice commands, but can also conduct conversations. Soon, participants who ask the voice assistant for details about their destination to suggest a new dinner recipe or to answer a complex question will receive a more comprehensive answer while keeping their hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. So essentially, this program is going to start very shortly and it's likely to be very intriguing to see how ChatGPT can be used for voice control via the Mercedes-Benz system. So let's firstly talk about how this is going to work and some of the various questions that you might have because there's a lot to unpack. So the Mercedes-Benz user experience voice assistant can actually have voice activated controls. So it lets you control various aspects of your car such as climate control, seat heating, ambient lighting, the audio system, navigation, without needing to use physical controls. Now, you might be wondering, why would you want to do this? Well, if you've ever been driving, you'll know that sometimes reaching down to try and change the volume on something, change the air conditioning, or adjust your seat can be particularly difficult whilst trying to deal with many different things that come with the difficulty of trying to focus on the road and ensuring vehicle safety. What's also interesting is that you can actually ask Mercedes-Benz voice assistant to provide directions to a specific destination or guide you to points of interest. It integrates with the vehicle's inbuilt navigation system to provide real-time guidance, traffic information, and alternative route suggestions. And just like Siri, where you can say, hey Siri, it actually does allow you to make hands-free phone calls and send text messages using simple voice commands and can pretty much access your phone contacts and initiate calls or compose messages for you. So you can see that Mercedes-Benz do have an already comprehensive system inbuilt into their cars. But what they're trying to do is with the use of the transformer architecture with ChatGPT, they're trying to supercharge their cars. Now, you might think that this isn't that good because maybe you haven't heard about it, but trust me, take a look at some of these examples of the Mercedes-Benz voice assistant in real time, and you'll see that it is genuinely not that bad. To start a dialogue, short press the voice control button on the right side of your steering wheel, release it, wait for the tone. Then simply say your command. 
Refer to the pop-up menu on your screen for most frequently used commands. Navigate to 21 North Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia. You can use voice control and the central controller or touch control buttons together, which is useful if the on-screen prompts are displaying options. Voice control makes it easy to get more comfortable. Seat heating on. Seat heating on. Or to cool off. Set temperature to 68 degrees. Temperature 68 degrees. Or to just relax. Start massage. Massage on. And you can always cancel by pressing the home button. Cancel. You can use voice commands like navigate, call, or station at any time, even while using other applications. Now, what's also interesting is that this isn't just a standard system. You see, many standard systems are quite stale and boring, but the Mercedes-Benz user experience slash voice assistant is actually personality driven. I'm not sure what they coded it with because this is actually an old system being developed just over three years ago, but it does seem to have some kind of personalities. So take a look at this example where the Mercedes-Benz voice assistant actually gives the user some attitude and not only provides the user with some basic responses, but also does provide some quirky responses as well. Computing power behind it than most in-car digital assistants. So one benefit of that is you can just tell her, I'm hot, and she'll raise the temperature rather than having to be very specific in your commands. Another interesting aspect of that is that she can get pretty feisty. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Who is your father? What do you want me to say? You, okay, you're my daddy now. <laughs> what? Uh, no thanks. What can I do for you? What do you think about BMWs? They're nice, I like seeing them through my rear view mirror. Oh, snap. So you can see there that this is definitely going to be very interesting because it means that if Mercedes-Benz have decided to use ChatGPT to power their inbuilt car voice assistant, this means that we're going to get a fine-tuned version of ChatGPT with some kind of personality driven into it. And it means that whatever kind of personality we do get, it will be interesting to see how that does develop over time and what kind of things it does learn. Now, I do find ChatGPT as a voice assistant very interesting, and many people are familiar with voice assistants through Siri and iPhone. And if you don't know about Siri, you may have been living under a rock. And Siri is essentially just a basic voice assistant that comes with your iPhone. And you may have also heard about Amazon's Alexa, which has been freaking people out over the years for saying very, very crazy things. So it will be interesting to see if ChatGPT as a car voice assistant will be just as good as some of the other ones that we have seen, because technically they are now going to be in the same space. Now, if you're wondering, I would like to experience ChatGPT myself as a voice assistant because I want to see how this large language model could help me in my daily life and I can't be bothered to continue typing and responding for messages. If you do have an iPhone, there is a way that you can actually use ChatGPT as a voice assistant. So with the rise of ChatGPT, many people have realized that using their new API update, you can actually have ChatGPT as a voice assistant by activating something called Siri Pro. I'll leave a link to a tutorial in the description that describes how you can do it, but it does seem pretty, pretty cool because it's much quicker than Siri and it gives you much more detailed responses. Now, one question that people may have is will ChatGPT control the car? Now, although AI is a feature in many new cars such as Tesla and other car makers that are trying to use artificial intelligence to control cars, we do know that this isn't going to be the case. However, we do also know that Mercedes-Benz is actually developing AI-enabled automated drive. In conjunction with NVIDIA, they're working on a partnership that provides the ability to let autonomous agents drive your car. So, it, so in conjunction with NVIDIA, 
Mercedes-Benz are working in close collaboration to handle the complexities encountered during day-to-day -day commutes. Using advanced AI, Mercedes-Benz can deliver a comfortable driving experience that consumers have come to expect, backed by uncompromised safety and security. And what you're seeing on screen now is the efforts of Nvidia and Mercedes-Benz in order to provide that very effectively. Now, I haven't seen too much information about this on the web. As you do know, Tesla is one of the leaders in the autonomous driving race, but there are others that are also leveraging the power of artificial intelligence to boost their driver capabilities. However, when it does come to ChatGPT, we have to understand that although ChatGPT is a great large language model, for currently driving, this isn't possible just yet. This is because, as you know, ChatGPT is largely based on one modality, which is text. However, in future, as you know, with models like GPT-5 and beyond, we do know that they are largely multimodal, meaning that they can decode video. And if they can decode images, it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that this giant leap that we've had in artificial intelligence technology combined with ChatGPT's architecture could provide us with AI powered by ChatGPT that could eventually perhaps control the car. Although far-fetched, the rate at which AI is moving, nothing seems to be surprising.